This is what every class needs. Good talent system, good gameplay, we're happy. And they've done a really, really good job with this. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with us for a couple of days because, of course, raid testing is available in the Shadowlands and we wanted to make sure we tested out the brand new Shadow Priest in all these different scenarios. And by God, you know what this shows me? Do you know what this shows me? This shows me that when Blizzard has its backs against the wall and the players are crying out saying, this does not work at any level, this is broken. It's been years. This is broken. Nothing you're doing with this works. And we seemingly had ideas and talents being thrown at the shadow priest that don't even work for shadow priests covenant spells that don't even work for shadow priests and blizzard had to change it they had to go in and say okay we're doing a rework planned or not we've got to do it and then they come out with this this is what every class needs we don't need soul binds conduits and any sort of fluffy nonsense strapped on and just seemingly sellotaped onto classes to try and flesh them out go back to basics good talent system good gameplay we're happy, and they've done a really, really good job with this, and every single class could use this. So what's changed there? Well, the biggest change, of course, is Void Farm. It's now a 90-second cooldown with a 15-second fixed duration. All that archaic design from Legion, which worked in Legion until it obviously became completely out of hand and out of control, and the Shadow Priests have been suffering with it for so long. This archaic design of being garbage until you could get a big Void Farm going, and then you were okay is gone that is all gone there's no more useless leveling stuff or anything along those lines void farm is now a 90 second cooldown it lasts for 15 seconds it's a fixed duration it gives you 20 percent spell damage it gives you an additional charge of mind blast and resets mind blast cooldowns you no longer drain insanity in this farm all the drain stuff you know of is gone it's out of there so you can use all of your resources, all the insanity you generate to spam Devouring Plague, which has undergone significant changes as well, and now is the big heavy hitter of the spec. It's a great change. It's a great change. The Void Farm was unbalanceable. It didn't work. It was either terrible or too good. It didn't work in open world. It doesn't work that way anymore. It's a DPS cooldown. That's what it's all about. So they changed the varying playing. They buffed its damage by 50%. It also has its duration reduced down to 6 seconds. It hits like a truck. It's 50 insanity. This is where you're going to be piling and piling your damage in. Except in AoE, where they've even thought of that. Uh, they've come up with some good ideas for that as well. So those are the big changes that you're now seeing. There is still that little bit of ramp up time, all right? To get, you still need that 90 insanity to get into Void Farm. But once you use your Void Farm on this 90 second cooldown, you're in there. You're done. And whatever you utilize inside there makes sense. And I'm about to reel off some talents and ideas, guys, that you should be super excited about. Because at least on the raid test we've seen, Shadow Priests are actually going to be kicking ass. I will also point out here, this is a first draft. But as first draft goes, this is amazing. So do expect that some things will get nerfed and some things will get tweaked from this initial impression. We're just so happy this is the first draft because it shows it's on such a good direction. And the gameplay feels great. It feels absolutely great. Um, the only complaint Finn even came up with, who is a multi-time rank one Shadow Priest, absolutely fantastic Shadow Priest, um, that's who has provided this for us. Uh, in fact, his only complaint there is that sometimes you're actually overcapped on insanity on single target fights. Uh, and if you take like Void Torrent, which has been reworked as well, you just can't spend insanity fast enough on Devouring Plagues. I know it seems really, really strange. And another good piece of feedback that Blizzard need is, of course, with these dramatic changes to the class, conduits, Legos, Covenant spells, all of them need to be adjusted at this point in order to reflect what's happened to the shadow priest because obviously they were originally designed with the old shadow priest in mind and that old shadow priest is dead it is dead and buried and it's gone there so let's talk about some of these new awesome talents so you get dark thoughts first of all which is a new passive all right this is a passive ability it causes each of your dots all right uh, to give mind flay or mind seer a two percent chance to proc an instant cast mind blast that is usable during mind flay and mind seer so it doesn't break the cast a lot of that is gone, so anybody who's played a Shadow Priest will be very au fait with sort of mind flaying, doing something else, and then mind flaying, and then doing only having it channel for like a couple of seconds. They've worked to get rid of that. So now you can actually proc these instant cast mind blasts that fire off during your mind flay and mind seer. And it's 2% chance per dot, so Shadow of Pain, 2%, Vampiric Touch, 4%, Devouring Plague, 6%. 
uh, giving you these chances. Not only that, they've allowed it to stack to five, which at the moment doesn't seem like it can proc often enough to make use of stacking up five instant cast mind blasts. The buff doesn't last too long. Uh, but that's purely them saying, we don't want you to overcap. It was the reason Shadow Word Void was around for so long and why the belt was so mandatory back in Legion is that overcapping things like Mind Blast is a real problem because your character is based entirely around the resources generated from that spell. So wasting those procs is a real big issue. Anybody who's played, say, a Shaman who can have two stacks of Lava Burst will understand how often that spell actually procs where you could potentially waste them. If it procs back to back, you just lose them. So that's what they're working there. Um, so they just don't want you to miss any procs. It'll likely get changed at some point. So Mind Blast Rank 2, a big source of horror uh, <laughs> coming into the Shadowlands was these weird Rank 2 spells, like Rank 2 Mind Flayer, which people were going, this doesn't even work with how the spec works. It makes it fundamentally worse. Uh, so they have Mind Blast Rank 2 now, which reduces its cooldown by 7.5 seconds instead of just 7. It's a purely a global cooldown issue that they've managed to fix. You can feel it when you play it. It's better. It's only half a second, but it's better. It's noticeably better. Uh, Mind Flay has had its scaling and duration buffed because the new Shadow Priest actually channels like full Mind Flays for the most part. If you're playing correctly, you'll be channeling Mind Flay much more, but you'll be squeezing Mind Blasts in between those, right? So Mind, Mind Flay is a far more impactful part of the gameplay instead of this sort of mindless i don't have anything to press right now button so i press mind flay right that's where mind flay was they're bringing it back into the fold it feels more impactful because you're getting these things done uh acting as dots etc shadowy apparitions have been reworked they've gone to town guys they have gone to town shadowy apparitions have been completely changed they no longer proc from shadow of pain crits instead though they proc when you use mind blast devouring plague or void ball with a one spawn guaranteed Every time you press one of those buttons, two spawns every time you crit. It's a, just a solid, nice, multi-target multi game that doesn't really get out of control because it's limited to your Mind Blast, Devouring Plagues, or Void Ball. However, the more procs you have of Mind Blast, etc., the more shadowy apparitions you get, and they see it scaling up and feeling good without getting crazy out of hand. Another wonderful new talent here is Ancient Madness. A new talent in the last row. It gives you 30% straight up critical strike rating. Works well with Shadow Apparitions, right? When entering a Void Farm. So when you, you have this talent, when you enter Void Farm, you gain an additional 30% critical strike. It reduces by 2% every second. And it feels so nice. It gives your Void Farm that more burst cooldown feel, right? So if you're looking to use your cooldown to actually punish the target... You really need this big, big damage. Then you can add Ancient Madness to it, giving this bonus crit, more apparitions, etc., etc. Great talent. Obvious when to use it. Do not need to sim it. Don't need to think about it. I know when the idea is going to come in. Uh, Damnation is another new talent in the second to last row that instantly casts all your dots. Shadow of Pain, Vampiric Touch, and Devouring Plague on the target for free. 45 second cooldown. Great. Wonderful. Right? It's like old Outbreak for the Warlocks. It's amazing. You give it baseline. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can still pandemic properly. It's all great. This is wonderful. Because if you're going to uh, go into a big, say, an AoE phase, right? And any Shadow Priest worth their salt will remember these moments. Is that you're setting up for something else that's about to happen in the fight. And the last thing you want is your dots to run off the main target, right? But your focus has shifted. You've got to do something else. This 45 second cooldown just lines you up to refresh everything. Instead of having to build up to that and try and time it, you can just throw this out there. Then you're so safe to throw out all your other spells, deal with the other scenario. You'll see Finn using it on their side in Athreus as soon as he's going into an AoE phase. Throws out Damnation, gets all those dots up, can focus on something else without worry about what's happening with that target. So Legacy of the Avoid has been reworked. It's replacing Dark Ascension. Dark Ascension is gone. It's out of there. Uh, this talent gives Void Farm no fixed duration, but it instead drains your insanity until it reaches zero. So essentially, it's the current iteration of Void Farm. So if you pick Legacy of the Void, you'll play Shadow Priest like you do now. It also increases your Void Farm damage buff to 25% from 20%. This is the weird one. I get what they're trying to go for, but it doesn't work. Because one thing you want to be casting inside Void Farm is Devouring Plague. Devouring Plague costs 50 insanity, and it does most of your damage. So adding an extra 5% spell damage uh, to longer Void Farms... 
isn't particularly good if you can't use your nuke inside that window, right? Uh, it's just, it's not really worthwhile. So this is kind of at odds. This is the only, you know, one of those things that's like, eh, I see what you're going for, but it doesn't quite work. Uh, it's actually better to have a fixed duration void farm right now with a 20% damage buff instead of 25, but you can spam out these devouring plagues, which do an absolute mental truck full of damage. Pointless having extra 5% damage, or at least it feels right now, when you can't use your big heavy hitting spell. So Lingering Insanity is also gone, so which means bye-bye haste outside of Void Farm. This is fine. I've got to be really clear on this. This is not your BFA Shadow Priest. That's not what this is. This is the new Shadow Priest. And the Shadow Priest doesn't work like that anymore. All right? You're not looking to get these really long periods of haste so you can get back into Void Farm quickly. That's not what this is about. All right? So don't worry about that too much. Let's talk about Searing Nightmare, though. Another new talent third row it's pure aoe insanity spender so you remember before i was saying during mind flay you can cast these instant cast mind blasts this is basically your replacement for dark void it has no cooldown it costs 30 insanity and it is only castable while you're casting mind seer so again we're going back to this almost mistweaver style of play like enveloping mist where you need to be uh, casting soothing mist in order to cast your enveloping mist instant cast what this does is it you start channeling Mindseer, you press this button, it puts Shadow Word Pain on every target. There's no cooldown to this, by the way, it's just an insanity cost. If it hits again with something that already has Shadow Word Pain on it, it deals double damage. Right? Are you listening? <laughs> it is super fun to play with. Because all you're doing is you're getting ready to go, you're not having to do mega amounts of pre-dotting or anything like that. You start channeling that Mindseer on enough targets, which generates you insanity. You then hit the Searing Nightmare... Everything's got Shadow Word Pain, and you can just spam the Searing Insanity button, and as soon as you have that 30 Insanity while you're channeling Mindseer, it's going to hit double damage on all those targets. It's extreme, and this makes you very, very viable in dungeons, by the way. I would imagine this is going to be crazy. When Mythic Plus is reactivated on the beta, cannot wait. Absolutely cannot wait. So is Shadow Word Void gone, due to everything we've just told you there? Unfurling Darkness is a new talent in the first row. It makes your next Vampiric Touch instant cast with a chunk of unfront upfront damage, right? So it hits harder than Mind Blast right now. After casting a Vampiric Touch, okay? So once you cast your first Vampiric Touch, which actually has a cast time, you gain a buff, right? You gain this Unfurling Darkness buff, which means your next Vampiric Touch is instant cast and does some upfront damage. It has a 15 second internal cooldown, right? So you can't just back to back proc it. But what you can do is hold on to the buff. The buff has no duration on it. So if you think about single target, you cast, you, you cast your first Vampiric Touch. You then get the buff. When you refresh it, which will be after this 15 second internal cooldown, right? That will be instant cast and also give you the buff. So you never have to cast a Vampiric Touch again after your very, very first one during the opener. And you can get two instant casts like in a row if you play smart, right? Because if you wait till after that 15 second internal cooldown... You could throw out an instant Vampiric Touch, get the proc again, and do some multi-target instant cast Vampiric Touching. Awesome. So awesome. So cool. Also works with Misery, by the way. Because <laughs> uh, Misery is, of course, tied to your Vampiric Touch. So it works with Misery, putting your dots up. Uh, so Void Torrent's obviously had to be changed with what's happening here. So Void Torrent now generates 60 Insanity instead of 30. But more importantly, it fully refreshes the duration of your dots on the target every time it ticks. It means it makes a crazy, crazy combo with Devouring Plague and, of course, Void Farm, where you've got all that extra bonus damage. Because you can put up a uh, Devouring Plague, channel your Void Torrent into it, and every time Void Torrent ticks, it's going to refresh that Devouring Plague. And Devouring Plague hits like a truck, meaning you can change it from a six-second spell, which you were doing with your Devouring Plague is usually six seconds. You can now make that ten seconds, and then allowing you, because you generated insanity during Void Torrent, to actually recast another one straight away very heavy it is up to probably the math of magicians to go and sit down and work out whether casting void torrent inside of void farm is better than just playing normally and casting devouring plagues there we'll leave that to the math of magicians to work out because obviously uh devouring plague costs 50 50 insanity so when you cast that void torrent uh, with 100 insanity starting off and you've just put devouring plague up you're gonna over cap your insanity you're gonna have too much and it's never nice sitting there saying i have this resource just sitting there because remember your insanity no longer drains while you're inside void farm so something they probably want to tweak there uh psychic link 
well, Malefic Rapture is what we could call this for anybody who's been paying attention to the Warlocks in the Shadowlands. It's another new talent that causes your Mind Blast to splash 60% of its damage to any target in 40 yards that have Vampiric Touch on them. So think about that. You've got a boss, you've got Mythic Plus where there are targets all spread out. If they have Vampiric Touch on them, when you cast Mind Blast, it hits everything. The same as Malefic Rapture works for the Warlocks. This is cool, especially for some of the bosses in Castle Nathria, where they have all these targets that are spread out all over the place and out of range of other people who can't cleave them, who can't work on them. Shadow Priest can. Shadow Priest can. Let's talk about Serenity to Madness. So I mentioned earlier, Serenity to Madness is back. How is it back? Well, Serenity to Madness is now a 90 second cooldown. Now it still carries with it the if you do not kill the target within 25 seconds, you die. But it's a 90 second cooldown. What else is a 90 second cooldown? Void Farm is. And Serenity to Madness is a second Void Farm. Now think about all the cool stuff I just said with Void Farm. You now have it twice as much. Because I'm sure some of you were looking at Void Farm and going, 90 seconds and they only get a 15 second duration? That doesn't sound a lot. Well, with Serenity to Madness, you actually get twice as many. Yes. Even if your target dies when you press Serenity to Madness and you go into another Void Farm, you still get to keep the Void Farm for the 15 seconds, even if the target dies. So you get a double the amount of Void Farms, which work well with everything else I've talked about today. What? What? Yes, very cool. So what you can actually do, what this means, and why Serenity to Madness is probably back in its current iteration, is if a little ad spawns or something, definitely going to die, throw Serenity to Madness on it. Why? you got yourself a brand new Void Farm outside of the normal DPS cooldown, completely on your command, and you get full advantage of it. Then, within 90 seconds, you have both of them again, and you get another double Void Farm. This is a lot, guys. This is a hell of a lot. So we're going to actually do a TDP uh, tomorrow where Finn will play it and talk us through some of the stuff he's doing there. Because I think I've, I've probably told you so much right now that you need to see it in action while it's happening. Because this, this is like a brand, this is a brand new class. Shadow Priest is literally a brand new class. I'm not even memeing. It's brand new. Um, they could probably do some tweaking. Like, insanity feels a little too much, right? So not being greedy here. If you can overcap, it's probably too much. And the, the probably place to do that is actually Mind Flay. It's just turn down the amount of insanity generated by Mind Flay. Really don't want to get greedy with this. Don't want to get too much. Want to make this work. Really want to make this work. But for a first draft, and that's what this is. A first draft par excellence. Really happy. So much fun. Thank you so much for listening, guys. I'll see you again. Make sure you check out our TDP. Bye-bye.